it was really taking its toll on on our marriage. Like if something if something wasn't done, we would probably be separated in the future. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Farm Life Outfitters channel, and this is Adam and I'm Michelle. Yep. And Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And um. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, I have to admit, this is something I've kind of dreaded. Like, I, I've kind of dreaded this video, but I, I think it's so important to do. Um, so, we we wanted to do it right. So we've been kind of preparing um, mentally and and um, praying together about it. And um, so we we just want to kind of tell our story and let you know. Um, if you saw on our social media or if you, you are on our email list, um, you found out that uh, Adam actually left his job last week and uh, sort of suddenly. Um, it was, it's always, if you've been with us a while, you know that's kind of always been the plan for us. But, um, and it was in the works, but it, this was more of more of a sudden <laughs> a sudden seriously more of a sudden decision um so i'm gonna pretty much let him have it and um you know i I'll, i can interject uh if i need to but um he's gonna kind of tell you yeah i well, always we say you have a lot of wisdom so oh, thanks don't um don't hold back okay yeah this has been a, a difficult video to think about um, you know we want our channel to be um, encouraging and entertaining and we're all learning together and we're trying new things um, but you know we're putting ourselves out there as a family and and it's really vulnerable you know really vulnerable and and we can choose what to what we want to share you know we don't have to share stuff and we don't share a hundred percent everything no. but you know we have a choice in what we share but this is something that you know we've been working toward as a family and um, um, you know planning but as you all know things don't go as planned mm -mm. Um, <laughs> and sometimes it's very um, drastic it's very mm -hmm. you know rip the band-aid off kind of stuff and so um and that's just how life is life life isn't a cookie cutter you know you kind of roll with the punches and you make the best of each day and um yeah it's just you want to plan we're we're planners for sure mm -hmm. so it makes it a little more difficult when things don't go as planned um, so, you know, we're still kind of working through that in our mind and, and, you know, we're okay with it. We've, we're just taking it a day at a time. Yeah. Um, trying not to be such planners, <laughs> but yeah, this has been difficult. It's been difficult to think about this video and, and put our story out there and, you know, what, what led up to me leaving, uh, the actual, like, you know, process of leaving, what we're dealing with emotionally, and and now, um, what are we doing now? You know, what what next? <laughs> you know, that's what everyone wants to know. How are you doing this? What what yeah. what's next? Where do you where are you going? You know, what yeah. are you doing? So we want to talk about that. So I guess I'll just start by talking about our journey. Like, you know, this has been several years in the making. Um probably started I mean it started when we got married yeah. really um, this kind of draw of homeness you know um, and we had our first child Sydney and Michelle was still working and I was working I had recently started my own appliance repair business uh, while you were pregnant right mm -hmm. yeah yeah while while uh, while Michelle was pregnant with Sydney, our first child, and um, so we were really had just bought our house, um, 
what two years prior and did a full remodel on on, a, on an old house and um, so we were in the middle of like working hard you know trying to save money trying to care for our new house and uh, and God was pulling on our hearts that Michelle should be at home um, you know she needed to be at home with our kids with with Sydney and our future kids and so um, you know being planners we we planned and we were like here's what we got to do the XYZ to get you know to get to the goal and so we we started on those we you know we didn't understand how it was going to work but we started and then I just remember feeling like there's no way we can do that you know I'd run the numbers you know did a budget we we're on a tight like mm -hmm. we don't spend any money mm -hmm. budget we didn't go out to eat for years <laughs> yeah um but it still is like there's no way and then one day i was sitting it was on a sunday probably i was just sitting inside looking at our budget again this is while we were still working and um and suddenly it made sense <laughs> suddenly we had 50 extra dollars every month and i'm like how did that happen <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> it was just a miscalculation, but still we had to, um, you know, there were things we had to do. We had a car payment, and we made what twenty-seven car payments in three months. Three months. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, it was like, okay, it's time for you to quit. Yeah. You know, um, so that's what we did. We we were led by God for you to stay at home. We didn't know how it was going to work. We had a plan. We felt like it was a good plan. So we just acted on it. And, and uh, that's similar to this, but it's different. You know, we, we had more of a plan, and we kind of followed the plan, and it worked out. Mm -hmm. And Michelle's been at home for nine years. Yeah. And uh, it's, been, it's been the best thing we've ever done, mm -hmm. the best decision we've ever made. And, um, you know, I would never take, any, take anything back. You know, I couldn't imagine you going back to work. You couldn't either. Yeah. And... Um, you know, we've sacrificed. We've made lots of sacrifices uh, on one income. You know, we mm -hmm. didn't have two incomes, um, but it's been worth it. So mm -hmm. uh, it started there. You know, a call, a call to home, um, and then um, you know, time went by, and we we felt this call to homestead. You know, to be more self-sufficient, to to raise our own food, to provide for ourselves. You know, to not not rely on other other like you know grocery stores other outside inputs you know to to learn how to make the land a better place for future generations um you know all that stuff and so i would feel like god put that in our hearts especially mine that was that was my desire mm -hmm. to homestead to be self-sufficient to be community based to you know, do all the things, all the, you know, you all know all the things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so we started down that path, which is a long journey. It's, you know, lots of trial and error, lots of mistakes, lots of, you know, just doing things and seeing what works. Um, and then, and then God led us to purchase the house that I grew up in, um, from my dad. So, uh, what, five years ago? We've mm -hmm. been here five years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five years ago, we, we sold our house way out in the country, uh, away from everyone, and we um, purchased uh, my dad's house, the house that I grew up in, the land, you know, the, the land that's here. Um, so yeah, we've been, we've been in the process of buying this house now for five years. Um, and I'm really thankful for it, mm -hmm. you know, extremely thankful for the work that my dad and my family have put into this place prior to us getting here. You know, my dad's uh, dad and grandpa and mom and, you know, all the work that has gone into this land to make it what it is. Uh, I'm very thankful to be a part of that. Um, and without them, I, I mean, we wouldn't be here. Right. You know, without the work they've done and without the sacrifices they've made, you know, to purchase this place and, you know, all that goes into all that, you know, owning the land and, and, and putting in fruit trees. I mean, we're yeah, harvesting, you know, the that. biggest thing here is the fruit trees. I mean, my dad put in a lot of 
work into planting blueberries, apples, peaches, you know, all that stuff has been planted here. And we're just, we're just getting to enjoy the harvest, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we, we won't, I mean, we're very thankful for that and we want to pass that forward, you know. We want to, we want the land to be the commons that we're building on and then our kids will just get to harvest, mm -hmm. you know, so. And not that they won't work, there's always work, but um, you're just build, building on that. So, so anyway, uh, all that to say, you know, we were, we were led by God to, um, you know, to buy this place, which really catapulted us into the homestead life. You know, we had more land, we had more space, we had opportunity to get animals that we've never had, mm -hmm. you know, um, larger gardens, neighbors for help. You know, um, all kinds of stuff, and so it really catapulted us into the homestead life, and, and we enjoyed it. I really enjoy uh, being here, mm -hmm. and it's it's like it, when it's in your heart, it's something your heart's desire. It it's not work, you know. Mm -hmm. Like things around here are hard work, mm -hmm. but it's not. It's not work. Um, it's not like going to work. It's mm -hmm. just not. So, um, you know, we had the, the farm kind of established. We had our infrastructure, fencing and water lines, everything was established and we had it fairly smoothly operating. You know, I had regular chores, you know, and then that was it. Maintenance and chores, really. It wasn't building anymore. And so um, God, God led us to start a business together. You know, he, he kind of put it in our hearts that maybe we should start working together instead of me going away for work, maybe we can start something here, a home-based business so that we can be together, work together, you know, and have a future without me having to leave. Um, future for us and a future for our kids and their kids, you know, something like with the land, something that we can just build on. And so we both had the idea to start Farm Life Outfitters, which was a, um, a t-shirt business, selling t-shirts. Uh, but that is, you know, changed and transformed several times into different things, and um, it's still a t-shirt business. Yeah, but yes, we still t uh, sell t-shirts. <laughs> That's the main part. But there are multiple, av you know, multiple yeah. channels yeah. to this business. So, um, and it's it's been really good. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, strengthened us as a couple. You know, it's allowed us to figure out each other's strengths, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, work together and and complement each other mm -hmm. and um, and it's been good you know and then you know we started YouTube and we started uh, a larger social media platform of presence and you know we're going to be starting something really soon that's exciting also um, we haven't told anyone have we? <laughs> <laughs> no well okay. we've told our email list <laughs> okay yeah but anyway we've, we're starting something else and so the business is always changing and and, and you know we're doing different things mm -hmm. uh, but anyway it, it's allowed us to meet lifetime friends mm -hmm. you know it's allowed us to uh, all kinds of opportunities we wouldn't otherwise have and so we're thankful for that for just where business leads you and you know mm -hmm. networking and people you meet and that kind of thing so um, but then uh, you know we, the, the call for me to be home became stronger and stronger in the past couple of years probably like we, we finally figured out how your your business it was your business yeah. you know, and I I really I was kind of hands off yeah. for a while but we started kind of figuring out oh well this they kind of work you know yeah they kind of work the together. things I was interested in kind of fit with what she was interested in and they really complemented each other and you know I don't know we just started like seeing eye to eye or something you mm -hmm. know without really talking about it just kind of it just kind of started fitting better and that really like man I got to be home you know <laughs> there was a real call for me to be home and we've been um, we've had that like tugging at us for a couple years now mm -hmm. like that's what the kids pray about mm -hmm. you know that's what y'all talk about when I was away at work mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking about while I was working, like, uh, how, what can we do? If we do this, how, will that 
produce this so I can be at home. Mm -hmm. You know, if we do X, Y, Z, you know, then we can do it. Mm -hmm. We can get there. So it was that same, like, God was putting, putting it in our heart for two years now. Here's what you need to do, I'm telling you, you know. <laughs> I'm just, I just keep he's very patient he's you know? very patient with us <laughs> but he it's like he keeps saying you know this is where you're supposed to be just trust me mm -hmm. um but being who we are you know as as humans and especially planners and entrepreneurs and you know I can do it you know you can do it if, mm -hmm. especially if we work together we can do it if we do this 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 and this mm -hmm. you know we're going to be fine. Then we can say, okay, you can quit, you know. Yeah. It's easy to leave. Yeah. Leave God out of it. Yeah. When, you know. Yeah. So that's, that's where we were. We were in the middle of, you know, figuring out how to make some money, basically, so that um, I wouldn't have to go anywhere to make money. Yeah. And we, we did. We've made, we've made some money from the farm, especially this year. You mm -hmm. know, we started making a little money. But, it you know, it, it doesn't compare to to the salary I had, mm -hmm. you know, the the money, the vacation time, the benefits, the company truck, you know, the whole corporate package, you know, that comes with that. Mm -hmm. And it was hard, it was hard to think about giving that up because it was comfortable. Um, even though, um, you know, I knew deep down God was calling me to be at home. That was what I was supposed to be doing at the same time. I don't know that without God intervening mm -hmm. that it would have happened yeah. because um, you get comfortable you know you don't want to you don't want discomfort you know you don't want to go back to oh we can we can't go out to eat for two more years <laughs> you know because <laughs> we've been through that you know we don't want our kids to quote unquote suffer you know <laughs> you know you know what I mean right. we don't want hard times and so um, it was very difficult to think about leaving because we, I became comfortable, you know, uh, with the salary, with the company truck, with, with all the benefits, with the whole, you know, the whole thing. Um, but we were talking yesterday about how, um, you know, the way corporate America is set up is you, if you're going to do a good job, you have to give it your full attention. It becomes your life. Yeah, it becomes who you are. Mm -hmm. And and when that's not who you are, it's a constant like, oh, I hate this. You know, I just just hate it. You just can't get out from under the weight mm -hmm. of of that. Um. So that's that's kind of where we were, you know, um, in the past. I would say the past year. Yeah. That's that's just the constant struggle. Um, and we were, you know, we're constantly working toward a better, you know, a better thing. Mm -hmm. we were trying to figure out how to do that. So looking back, I, um, I was running from it. I was running from what God was calling me to do. Um, you know, it was clearly, here's what you need to be doing with your family. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is what you should be doing. And I was running from it because I was, I was afraid. I was afraid of what, of not having the answers. You know, mm -hmm. of not knowing that, you know, we were going to be taken care of mm -hmm. because of something I could do or you could do or whatever. So mm -hmm. I was running from it. Um, but then uh, about a month ago, um, God clearly gave us direction, like very clear conviction and... Um, you know, I I had my priorities all in the in the wrong order, like the complete wrong order. Mm -hmm. I remember you telling me, without me telling you that, you told me, you know, my priorities were in the wrong order, and I was like, yeah. It was, mm -hmm. you know, work, work, farm, kids, Michelle, God. That was that was my priority list, mm -hmm. and. Um, and I really, it was, it was really taking its toll on, on our marriage. Like if something, if something wasn't done, we would probably be separated in the future because of it. You know, you start, um, 
you just start coming apart, you know, when your priorities are not where they should be, um, when your attention isn't where it should be, it, it starts, it just starts pulling you apart. And I, I come to a place of uh, conviction and repentance, you know, I had to apologize for things that I did and and maybe I thought I did, you know, to some people. And so um, there was a strong uh, conviction, and uh, it's time to do something else. So, um, so I, I mean, it's repentance. You know, repentance is okay. This is the wrong way. So you turn and you go the opposite way. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's what we did. So the main driver uh, of this was my corporate job. It was it was stealing my soul basically. It was taking all my attention. It you know it required every bit of me to do a good job. That's just you know it's who I am. I'm I'm devoted. I'm a devoted, honest person. And with a with a job, it was it was taking everything I had from me. And that included you and the kids, and um, and I think deep down I, I knew that, but I didn't see a way out for some reason. Mm -hmm. So um, so I I quit my job a month about a month ago. I called my boss. You know I I did it in a way like I wanted y'all in the room. I, the kids were sitting there. You were filming it without me knowing it, you know? <laughs> and because you know everybody's involved in this decision. You know, there's something we've all been praying on for two years, and mm -hmm. so that was uh, that part. I, I like, like I like the way all of that went mm -hmm. down. Yeah. I called my boss with every all the kids in the room. You know, they sort of you know the little ones understand, but they you know they didn't really understand in the moment, um, mm -hmm. but. So it means a little more to them, like, okay, this is real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is a real conversation, and things are about to change. So, um, so that was good. It was good to, um, it feels good to like rip the bandaid off. <laughs> you know, it, it's um, when you when you've um, when you've struggled for so long, and you know. And then God reveals your heart, and and leads you to repentance. It feels good. Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, um, we. Um, it's such a like step out into like the unknown, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. Like you expect to have answers or like here's what you do next but this is one of those things where I don't mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't I, I didn't have any answers mm -hmm. I just knew without something d dramatic happening um, I would lose everything I would lose y'all mm -hmm. and 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 I was going to do whatever it takes to not let that happen you know, and, and that's that was my heart, and that was God's heart, mm -hmm. because you know, uh, he, he references marriage in the Bible as you know, what he brings together, man can't separate. And so his heart is for marriages to last, and you know, to work through difficulties and hard times, and and to struggle together, you know, for better or for worse, mm -hmm. you know, rich or poor, you know, you just you just work together, so. It's you know it's a it's an image of his love for his church you know it's it's a direct comparison to Jesus and his church and so it's, it's not you can't separate it so um, so there comes a point where I guess it's like the worth changes in your mind mm -hmm. you know I don't care what I miss out on this is this is worth more mm -hmm. you know so so that's been good. Because for the first time, it's like you realize what was at stake, like yeah. what you had to lose. Right. 
and and you just weren't willing to give that up right right so for that i'm thankful i'm thankful for i'm thankful for for you know the conviction mm -hmm. and and um where it's led us in our marriage and as a family and where it's going to lead you know mm -hmm. so um you know the biggest question people have is well what are you going to do or or how do you do that mm -hmm. or what's next mm -hmm. or you know um, the last few weeks at my job that was the biggest question like where are you going what are you going to do and i didn't have an answer i'm like i'm not going anywhere i don't, I don't know i don't know what i'm doing you know i don't have something lined up um i mean we we are um, entrepreneurs we're risk takers we're investors you know that's just who we are and so we're we're planning we're planning things like here's where I think we we might do this it looks promising but I don't know I don't know what we're doing so um, I've come to the point where like I, I'm just trying to take it a day at a time mm -hmm. like we're we're not promised tomorrow you know our, our whole life has been the how that's what we've done our whole life is trying to figure out how to get how to do this 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 yeah. to get here that, that's been what we've done our whole life and i think i'm done with that because mm -hmm. we're not promised tomorrow right so um that i, I keep telling michelle that's that's going to be the struggle for me mm -hmm. is in how i need her help is i don't i don't want to be anxious about or well, how are we going to make money how what are we going to do if we can't pay our power bill you know i don't want to be anxious about those things mm -hmm. but it's it's natural to be anxious mm -hmm. to try to figure out well, let's do this and then we won't have to worry about it you know or whatever so um the real battle for me is is to take it one day at a time and and have have a little faith and trust that whether things are good or things are bad, God has our best best interest in mind, mm -hmm. and 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 things may get hard. So I know I've said that a lot. That things things may become hard, difficult. Like we may we may go through some hard times financially. Um, I don't expect us to. I don't plan for us to or want us to. But it may happen. And and I. I'm okay with that. You know, I, what's been what's been really encouraging through this whole thing is how is how supportive you have been mm -hmm. in and not worried. Like mm -hmm. you told me multiple times, I'm not worried about mm -hmm. about it, and that's been very encouraging. Because if you were worried, it would cause like, oh, I got to go figure, I got to figure this out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Put pressure on you. Yeah. So I uh, appreciate that. Um, um, yeah. So I, I mean, I'm trying to take take this thing one day at a time. You know, I, I've missed a lot uh, from from y'all. I've missed mm -hmm. a bunch, and so there's just there's just like I don't want to miss out. Mm -hmm. Like. There's things to do outside, but I, I want to sit in here for a little bit because I don't want to miss out. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I want to talk about real stuff and and deal with things that come up, and you know, go for a walk or you know, teach science or <laughs> I don't want to miss out anymore. So, um, um, one thing that that has has um, helped. Yeah, you know, I've had some conversations with my grandparents before they passed away, and some some of that conversation was their regret, mm -hmm. looking back on their life and regret. Mm -hmm. And I I don't want to regret. I I want to um, I want to look back and not have regret because yeah. that's regret is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Mm -hmm. But the only way to do that is to take risk and to step out in faith and to follow where God is leading you. Like, if, if, you, if you feel or have felt God leading you in a direction and it's something that, that doesn't go away, like, through, you know, 
through however long, you know, it doesn't go away. It always comes up. There's always this pull in this direction. Then you should probably do it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait. <laughs> yeah, because because if it's if it's the path that God has laid out for you, you're going to go on that path. You know, He gives you choices. I was thinking about paths. You know, there's Proverbs three where it talks about in all your ways acknowledge Him. You know, He will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean He doesn't give you crossroads and choices and you know detours mm -hmm. and you know. That kind of thing but his desire is to make you be on a straight path to him that's, right that's his desire you know the 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 way to not have regret is to step out in faith to to feel that pull in a direction and do it it's not going to make sense it, it it's it's never it never makes sense right you know so just do it you're, you're going to save yourself a lot of heartache mm -hmm. you know looking back you know, we should have just done it mm -hmm. a long time ago. Uh, so, so going forward, when we feel that again, let's just remind ourselves to just do it. You know, God's going to get your attention. Mm -hmm. If you're supposed to be on this path, then there's going to be something that gets your attention because you're going in the wrong direction. So, um, so what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to do this? <laughs> um, so that one we don't have regret mm -hmm. we take risk and two we just we're able to pay our light bill <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, the food we've got figured out i think we can you yeah. know when you live on a farm you you find stuff to eat <laughs> yeah so the food has not not been a problem mm -hmm. and um you know we're, it's going to cause us to be creative mm -hmm. you know we have plans for a month this year where we're gonna to have to be really creative mm -hmm. so that, that's gonna be exciting mm -hmm. um, and we'll share it with you guys uh, but I'm excited about that that yeah. you know, that that's gonna force us to be creative yeah but um, so like how are we gonna do this I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure the exact like here's our plan because mm -hmm. we don't have one we have some ideas you mm -hmm. know we're gonna be selling produce we're gonna be you know expanding our business and what we what we can do or what we can control but at the end of the day I, I'm not sure we don't have a plan mm -hmm. um, we're gonna I mean I feel like we're going to um, it's gonna force us to work together yeah so we've got to figure out our schedule figure out our okay here's what you do here's what I do mm -hmm. um, so that's gonna be good mm -hmm. um, we're gonna take time daily and at the very least weekly to for Michelle and I to stop what we're doing and go sit in the car if we have to to get away and talk to each other mm -hmm. and ask questions and you know make sure this is um, isn't broken mm -hmm. um, we're going to uh, keep God first you know, we're going to keep our priorities right so that means daily devotion, just me and God, reading His Word, uh, prayer, and worship throughout the day. Um, you know, in Matthew chapter 6, it says to seek God and His kingdom first, and, and everything else that He just talked about, food, clothes, shelter, all that will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. You won't have to worry about that. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll kind of fall in place. And so... Um, and that's hard to do because especially for people like us and men mm -hmm. especially you we provide for our families you know we we sh you know we don't want to have hard times for our families and so we provide and we we sacrifice and we you know we do all the things to make money so that we can have a better life or whatever but that's just if, if, you, if you let it that allows your priorities to get all jacked up mm -hmm. so um, so that's really my how. We're going to keep God first. We're going to stop and make sure this our marriage is intact and you know not lacking emotionally, spiritually, um, physically. You know everything because mm -hmm. you know we're we're when you're married you're one like you're one person and you think 
what the what will help the other mm -hmm. all the time so um so with our business i mean we're going to be working together we're we've, we're going to start a new thing probably this week <laughs> are we doing it this week I think so. or next week or in the coming weeks I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh we're going to be um doing new things we're going to be leaning into each other's strengths uh, you're you're a very smart businesswoman, even if you don't think so. Thanks. And you're very, um, you know, just all the things. <laughs> 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 just you know, <laughs> wise and people look up to you, and 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 um, you know, together we can we can figure out how to do things. We just mm -hmm. lean into each other's strengths mm -hmm. and and just do it. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna ask questions, you know. We want to for the longest time. I've wanted to develop in our kids a freedom to ask questions mm -hmm. and like it's okay to come to me if you don't understand mm -hmm. or if you're hurt or whatever. You just come to me and let's talk about it. And that's something that I've struggled with. It's like why won't, why are they holding back? Why won't yeah. they? Why won't they? Why don't they feel free to? You know come to me and, and let's do whatever but I think it's been like I haven't given them time or attention to mm -hmm. that or the, or the free I haven't given them that freedom to do that and mm -hmm. so um, we're gonna we're gonna create a, a, a house a home of freedom and like asking questions and you know uh, all, all that so um, yeah so that's our how. We're gonna we're gonna take it a day at a time. Mm -hmm. And it's scary. It is. I'll, I'll admit it's very. There are times where I feel very anxious mm -hmm. because I want to know, like, I want to know what I'm gonna be doing. You know, like looking in, looking out right now, it could be ten months before we have an income, just in the things that we feel like we're, we should be doing yeah. with the farm. It could be nine, nine or ten months before we have a harvest mm -hmm. and, and an income. So, what am I going to do? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like enjoy the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, people are always calling me. You know, the the place, my my employment. I, I've been a repairman or handyman for ten years. I started an appliance business. I went from there to one of the major manufacturers of appliances. I was a service tech. I uh, moved up to be a service manager um, and, you know, made good money, good salary, all of that. Um, but people still call me to come fix stuff. So, you know, they didn't want me to leave my job. They were like, what can we do to get you to stay? Mm -hmm. uh, there's help wanted signs everywhere. You know, <laughs> so you just, I, I guess I've just come to the point where... Um, I, money's not first anymore, mm -hmm. and it feels good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It feels good. So I just have to keep reminding myself that uh, if if I can work on if I can work on these things, mm -hmm. controlling my anxiety and my fear, and and have a little more faith and trust, that we'll be taken care of. Yeah. Like we may not have a retirement, but you know. A friend of mine told me in the middle of all this that when, when you die and, you, and you're and you standing before God at the end, you know, in, in the judgment, he's not going to look at you and say, congratulations, you paid your bills. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's right. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on not, not being anxious. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess you guys can keep, you know, we're going to keep filming. You know, I was telling Michelle before we started this that, uh, you know, we love you guys. We, we, um, we appreciate you. We've met, um, lifetime friends. We've met lots of people. We're, we're networking with lots of amazing people. <laughs> And that's been nice, and we would have never had that opportunity without YouTube. But, mm -hmm. but videos like this and a lot of our content isn't for you guys. It's for us to look back on in mm -hmm. the future. It's for our kids and our our grandkids and their kids to look back on and 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 
hear the struggles. It's kind of like when you talk to someone from the Great Depression and you, you ask those questions or you're listening to those kind of interviews, you know. Mm-hmm. So trying to remember that's that's what we're, we're recording these things for. Mm-hmm. And, um, so you can keep up with us if you'd like. We're going to keep showing you what we're doing, our how. I mean, I have several things uh, that, I, that need to be done around here and that I want to do. So we're going to be... Um, doing all kinds of stuff um, mm-hmm. so make sure you subscribe to our channel and and whatever however you get those there's some kind of bell or something <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> 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 anyway uh we're gonna be like te- not a youtuber <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be tear- tearing down uh buildings we're gonna be you saw we're gonna be building a house we're gonna mm-hmm. be uh there's several projects building that you know I'm going to be doing, and I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's some property that we're going to lease, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're expanding in that way. We are going to go deer hunting. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and and not not feel like I have to come back home because I have a million things to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we're going to go camping and all the fun stuff yeah stay stay along with us and and we'll uh, we'll keep you entertained i'm sure (laughs) anyway i think i'm done (laughs) okay i don't know what else to say you said it all all right all right so thank you for watching yeah appreciate you sticking with us through this through this uh story yeah and, uh, and uh, yeah, I hope it I hope it was encouraging, and I, and I just I I want you to just you know if God's leading you to do something, it's probably a good idea just to do it. Mm-hmm. I think I know I've already said that, but it's really important. Yeah, yeah, just do it. <laughs> just step out in faith and take the risk, and and if it doesn't work out, then you know something else will come along. Yeah. So. We will see you all on the next video. Bye.